Okay, hi guys, today I'm gonna make some hydrogen sulfate. So here's urea and here's sodium hydroxide. I'm using this 99% urea because hydrogen is very sensitive on impurities and my fertilizer would be not a good idea, especially that I'm not gonna use pure acid, so it's better to decrease level of impurities as much as I can. And in the fridge there's sodium hypochlorite because I need, uh, I need it cold. And also I'll need some gelatin, but I don't have it here, so hmm, I'll take it later. So let's start. Here's a uh, one liter beaker, and I got here 300 milliliters of distilled water. And it has to be distilled water because, as I said, hydrogen is very sensitive on impurities. And now I have to wave out uh, 32 grams of sodium hydroxide. And I want to say that this recipe is from other channel, uh, Gablo. Unfortunately for you, it has Polish channel and, and I think that there's no English subtitles. So yeah, some of you will understand because uh, of course there are Polish uh, here, but I will put the link to this video in the description if someone would like to see it. And now I'm gonna measure 32 grams of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so the solution warmed that a little bit so i had to take it and uh, cool it down because uh, of course we don't want boiling hot uh, sodium hydroxide solution okay so now i'll prepare a urea solution first i've got to warm up water because first of all i have to dissolve a gelatin ah you can see now if someone someone is interested in polish language uh, you can see here that the gelatin is called gelatina. I don't know, maybe I'll be educating channel. I didn't boil that water, but it's pretty hot. And now, uh, one gram of gelatin. Okay, so now urea time. Okay, 22 grams of urea. Okay, the solution is almost clear. Zut. Okay, uh, I didn't start making hydrogen yet i just have to say it that if i'll start i wear gloves because hydrogen is not too nice for our body i should wear gloves making sodium hydroxide solution but i didn't think about it but i just have to remember about using gloves now i have to measure out 117 milliliters and now I add it. Um, there will be no reaction between these solutions because the main reaction is between hypochlorite and urea. Hmm, okay, so I'm gonna start it. Yut. Oh, it's yellow. So uh, this reaction is called Hoffman reaction. In this reaction we are making amines in the mechanism of this reaction out of imide there forms isocyanate and that's pretty unstable so breaks uh, to carbon dioxide which is these bubbles and uh, I mean And most of carbon dioxide is absorbed by sodium hydroxide forming sodium carbonate. That looks literally like beer. Okay, so I almost forgot about the same fact uh, which Gablo forgot that um, sodium hypochlorite uh, is pretty unstable and if on the label there is that this is 15% solution, it doesn't mean that this is really 50% because it's breaking down. So I added some of that solution and I don't know, maybe there will be a better yield. I didn't check concentration of this bleach. Okay, so I'm starting to hitting it, hitting it, um, cause 
it's taking too long and I want it to I want to end it as fast as it's possible. Um, of course we can't uh, heat it too much because heat hydrogen would kill us. And that's why I'll turn off the plate in a moment and there will be just pretty warm. Okay, I stopped hitting it. She was in my room was pretty strange pool like uh, smells so I took the beaker outside and start to ventilating. I can for a proof start to add a concentrated sulfuric acid. First of all reacted with sodium carbonate so there will be a lot of uh, foam uh, and and then convert free base hydrazine to hydrazine sulfate. Mm, nice. That's something new. It's not bubbling. Nice. Of course, I still have to be careful. Oh god. <sighs> I played with potassium permanganate and apparently there was a small crystal on the table. So. You saw that purple color. Okay, so there will be 100 milliliters of this acid. That's all. Now I have to cool it as much as I can. Okay, so now I can pour uh, the liquid to other container. And the rest I will uh, filter. Okay, so I've got uh, something around 46.3 grams of hydrogen sulfate. Um, it's not completely clear because I saw that this is a bit yellowish, uh, but it doesn't matter. That's uh, more than 40% yield, so that's very good. That's it for this episode. Write in comment what would you see in next episodes. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, watch other videos.